Did you know that certain car companies are willing to pay for your education, whether that's partially or even like a full ride? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you just that. Stay tuned. Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela. So as you already know, for this video, I will be discussing some scholarships that are due from motor companies, car companies, vehicles, whatever you want to call it. So let's just get right into this video. So before I get started with sharing with you all these scholarships, I just want to give you all a brief background of me. So my name is Carlin Green. I am a scholarship expert over the years. I have won 30 scholarships for myself and have helped students across the globe, not just the U.S., but internationally as well, win millions of dollars in scholarships. So I decided to create this series highlighting scholarships that are given by corporate companies, whether that's like food and drink companies, tech companies, whatever it may be. So for this specific video, I will be discussing scholarships that are from automotive companies. So let's get started. So let me share my screen with you all real quick here. Okay, so first up, we have this scholarship from Ford called the Ford Driving Dream Scholarship. Now, with this particular award, I actually had a student recently win it. So just know that this is an excellent opportunity for you to apply for. So if we scroll down to eligibility here, it says that applicants must meet the following criteria, that you must be a graduating high school senior in the spring of insert year, because this happens just about every single year, this particular opportunity, pursue full-time studies leading to a bachelor's degree at an accredited college or university in the United States, you must have a cumulative high school grade point average GPA of at least 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. And this is a scholarship that is specifically for my people, my fellow Texans. And here are some of the requirements for the scholarship, such as you have to have your transcript, you have to write an essay of 500 to 1,000 words. Now, on that note, if you ever see a scholarship giving you like a wide range of what is a minimum and maximum of the word count that you can do for your essay, I recommend to take up as much space as possible. Try to get all the way to the maximum because I imagine that you probably have a lot to say. It also requires your resume and one letter of recommendation. And if you want to get an idea of how many people are actually awarded this scholarship, like per year, it says here that last year's program, they awarded 250 people each $2,000. So next up, we have this scholarship from General Motors, GM for short. And this one, let's see here, if we go to, oh yeah, this page instead, here is the eligibility. So it says that for U.S. applicants, this one is available for both U.S. and Canadian students. So that's awesome. Must be a female in both situations. Must be able to verify enrollment at the beginning of the fall term. Must be a citizen of the U.S. or Canada. Must be enrolled in an undergraduate, graduate, or non-traditional education institution that offers formal programs or certifications in automotive retail and or automotive service or currently employed at an automotor dealership and enrolled in an educational institution that offers formal programs or certifications that advance your career within automotive retail. Oh, that was a lot to read. So if we go to then this tab here, it says how to apply and it gives you more things that you're going to need, such as your official transcript, letters of recommendation, your SAR, which is pulled from like your FAFSA, and then there's separate tabs for those applying as U.S. students versus Canadian students. And as you can see here, it says that the deadline has passed as I'm recording this video, but to check back in in January of 2023, which will be next year from when I'm recording. And then as far as your letters of recommendation, they use this form here which redirects you to this. And so you would basically forward this over to whoever it is writing your letter of recommendation. Okay, so next up we have this scholarship from Toyota, which is called the Toyota Motor North American Scholarship Program. So basically with this scholarship, it looks like it has about two tiers of winners. So first there's 10 people who will get the peak performance awards valued at $5,000 a year for up to four years, so $20,000 total. And then 60 people will be awarded the performance awards, which are valued at $2,000 $2,500 a year or $10,000 over the span of four years. So those who are eligible for this program are Toyota team members, dependent children ages 23 and younger, planning to enroll full-time in undergraduate study at an accredited college. And this one, the application opens up on December 1st and the deadline is January 18th of the following year. So because the application is not yet open, make sure that you press this button here where it says notify me. 
which will redirect you to this page and you put in your email address, et cetera. And then they'll finally email you when it's ready to apply to it. I also recommend that you press here where it says frequently asked questions, and then you'll be redirected here, which gives you more details regarding the scholarship. So I recommend that you go ahead and download that. So next up, we have this scholarship from BMW. It's called the BMW SAE Engineering Scholarship. And the eligibility for this particular one says that you have to be a U.S. resident, must be an incoming freshman, I believe, at college, a minimum unweighted GPA of a 3.75, pursuing an engineering or related science degree through an Abbott accredited program. So you're probably wondering, what is a BET mean? Well, if we click the link here, you will be redirected to a search engine of Abbott accredited programs throughout the U.S., certain schools. And as you can see, there's all these different universities. So if you're attending a specific university, you would essentially just type in their name here and see if they are Abbott accredited. And if they are, then you can apply. And reading further with the eligibility for the scholarship, it says you have to have an interest in mobility and advanced or emerging technology, such as, but not limited to, all of these different categories, which you can read on your own time. It also requires two letters of recommendation, participation in STEM-related extracurricular activity club and or employment shadowing that relates to your intended engineering major. So for this scholarship, as I'm recording, the application deadline has already passed, but this is, I imagine, one of the types that reopens every single year. So make sure to put on like that master list of scholarships that you have that you're wanting to apply to on that list when to apply when it reopens. And for this award, winners are notified at the end of June. And the scholarship can be used for tuition or any other incidental school expenses, such as housing. And this is very important to note because there are certain scholarships that are like tuition only versus those that can be used for tuition, housing, whatever else that relates to your college life experience. Now, I will say that I imagine that this scholarship is pretty uh, competitive because if we go to the terms here, it says one scholarship will be awarded each year for $1,500 per year. So what it's sounding like is that only one person out of all the applicants applying will get $1,500 a year, which would be $6,000 over the span of four years. So with that in mind, if you are ever applying for a scholarship, make sure that you're not only looking into eligibility, due dates, et cetera, but also in addition to that, how many people will be awarded so you can estimate what your chances of winning look like. And on that note, I actually have a scholarship winning hood likely calculator. It's linked on my website. And then I also have my scholarship strategy book and online course that details my strategies to winning 30 scholarships and being debt-free for both undergrad and grad school. Next up on our list, we have this scholarship from Chevron. It's called the AISES Chevron Scholarship. And so if we scroll down here to eligibility, it says this, oop, why did I do that? Oh my gosh, why is this page so scroll sensitive? What the heck? Anywho, this scholarship is for computer science majors, earth science, engineering, all these different concentrations of engineering, health environments and safety and naval architecture. And as you can see here, it is worth $5,000 per academic year. So that would be a total of $20,000 over the span of a four-year degree. However, it is also important to point out this, where it says continuing scholarships may be awarded, but students must reapply annually. And this is important to point out because there are scholarships that you can renew as long as you reapply versus there are ones that you can renew as long as you just tell them that you need it for the next year. So there is a difference between the two. And for this scholarship, it requires a minimum of a 3.0 GPA. And then as far as the additional requirements, it says that you must demonstrate knowledge and interest in Chevron and energy industry through a scholarship specific essay. So with that being said, make sure that you do thorough research about Chevron, about some current and past projects and initiatives that they're doing so that it is personalized to like their key messages and everything else that's going on with them. And also, as you can see here, there are additional considerations depending on what year in college you are, such as if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or master slash PhD student. As for the next scholarship I will be sharing with you all, this one is coming from Shell. Now, Shell isn't like a physical car company, but they do sell gas and oil and all that. So let's go on and scroll down. So as you can see here, they have scholarships for high school seniors. This scholarship right here, this is specifically for those of pursuing an associate's degree 
they have a technical scholarship, and they even have a scholarship renewal process, which is totally awesome for those who previously won the scholarship and want to get that money again. As an example of making sure to do this, I had a student win a scholarship from Taco Bell's Live Moss, and originally I believe they gave her $5,000 when she first won it, but then they also had a renewal process, and so when she renewed it, they instead gave her twice as much money. They gave her this time around $10,000. So make sure that you read the fine print, the extra details of scholarships you are applying for, because quite a few of them have renewal processes, and even if they don't verbally say that they have a renewal process, you can still reach out to them via email and ask if it's possible for you to reapply even though you previously won or if you can simply just renew it without going through that application process all over again. So anywho, I'm just going to cover for this video the eligibility for the high school seniors. You can look at your own time if you're instead of pursuing like your associate's degree. But for high school seniors specifically, it says that you have to apply online using this link here, which will direct you to this page and applicants will be asked to upload a copy of their high school transcript, standardized test scores such as ACT, SAT, so make sure you're taking that. And also you have to have recommendation letters. Now these are not the type of recommendation letters from what I'm seeing of where you can just attach it yourself like your teacher, counselor already wrote their letter previously and you're just like reusing that for future applications. I believe this is a type of where they have to physically, digitally go into the portal, the online portal themselves. Then it says that you have to plan to enroll full-time in one of the following majors, geology, civil engineering, petroleum, mechanical, all these different engineering concentrations. So make sure to read through that. Then you also have to be at a specified specific institution, which will redirect you to this page here, which lists out certain universities. And so as you can see here, there are 16 schools listed, several for Texas students, which is awesome. I'm in Texas, by the way. And then for their incentive fund scholarship, which you can learn more about here, this one is for underrepresented minority groups such as Black people, Latinx, Native, etc. And as far as a deadline, that is March 15th. I imagine they have this type of scholarship every single year. So if the deadline is passed by the time you're watching it, make sure to still consider it. And they sponsor up to 21 year awards of $2,500. And again, make sure to go to this tab here where it says renewal criteria. So even if it says $2,500 for just one year, renew that, renew it so you can get even more money. You are way more likely to get a scholarship. See, you are way more likely to get a scholarship if you already won it in the past because they're already familiar with you, your story, your work ethic, and all that. And finally, we have this scholarship from ExxonMobil. Now, if you've ever pulled up to a gas station, more than likely it was probably like Exxon or Quick Trip or whatever else there is. If we scroll down on eligibility here, it says applicants must reside within the following cities and surrounding areas and meet the following criteria to be considered for a scholarship. So we have several states represented here, a lot based in Texas, which is awesome. Uh, even New Mexico, Washington, California, Kansas City, Missouri, right? MO is Missouri or is that Montana? I'm forgetting the abbreviations. Hold up. Kansas City, MO. Missouri, there we go. I was right. Awesome. Anywho, you must be a graduating high school senior, must have a cumulative GPA of at least a 3.5. That's, well, that's pretty high. Must have scored a 29 or higher on the ACT and a 1350 or higher on the SAT. With that in mind, this is a perfect example of how certain scholarships, especially like STEM related scholarships, will require a higher score on your ACT and SAT as opposed to scholarships for like liberal arts majors, which is what I did. I During undergrad, I was in broadcast journalism and right now I'm in grad school for public relations. So make sure to keep that in mind. And if you have to retake those exams until you get your desired score. Also, you have to be a U.S. citizen or have the legal right to work in the U.S. And for applications, again, ACT, SAT, high school transcript, and three letters of recommendation. So I would recommend to variate this so you can have like one letter of recommendation from a teacher, professor, um, then another one from like a counselor, and then another one from a coach, and preferably try to have these letters of recommendation coming from people relating to what you're studying. And here it says application is available early summer 2022. So as it stands right now, when I click on it, it's not yet available, even though it's like already summer. So we'll see when this opens up, just make sure to check back in on it. So those are the scholarships that are provided by Automotive 
oil, gas companies. Now, if you want a full list of all of those mentioned and already hyperlinked, as well as all the other scholarships that I am mentioning throughout this corporate company scholarship series on YouTube, then make sure to first follow me on Instagram at Carly100, C-A-R-L-E-100. And then from there, DM me with the keyword COSCO, which stands for Company Scholarships. And then I will send you the document. It's on like a Google document. And as these opportunities continue to be developed, I will continue to update that Google document. And once again, if you really want to increase your chances of winning these scholarships, because they are very competitive, especially scholarships, if you're like studying something in STEM, you need a strategy in order to win. So with that being said, make sure to check out my book and my online course called The Scholarship Algorithm. Linked in my bio description, you can get a free preview of both just to see if it's the right fit for you. And specifically for my scholarship program, which also has my book and services bundle in, by the way, you can use this promo code to get 25% off of it. I highly recommend that you get it. Had I enrolled in a program like this years ago, there's no doubt in my mind that I would have gotten a full ride and not have to spend all these years finally figuring out the algorithm to winning scholarships. So with that all being said, I hope that this video was helpful and informative. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel and also follow my social media. I'm mainly on TikTok. I got a lot of followers on there, Instagram as well. And check out, oh, this is a lot. I just have so many resources for you all. But yes, my YouTube playlist for college advice and scholarship advice is available to you to use. That's it. Bye.